Okay, so yes, I built a hidden bookshelf door. And no, I didn't film its construction. It's a bookshelf. Just build a bookshelf, put it on a hinge. Or at least that's what I thought. I want to go over some of the pitfalls and a few of the things I learned when creating this particular bookshelf door. The first problem I ran into was this is an old house. Which means no matter how well I constructed this bookshelf, nothing else around it is square. The door jam isn't square, the casing isn't square, the whole thing is completely out of whack. And if you're building in an old house, you will probably run into similar issues. You can see here, though not well, that the door curves away from the opening so that it is a substantial difference between this measurement and the measurement at the bottom. There is nearly a half an inch gap that's left. It goes for this side too. You see that there's a large gap here but down at the bottom we're flush. That's because again the door jam, the casing curves out and away from the opening itself. I also had to make quite an allotment for vertical clearance as the beam supporting my house sits right in the path of the door. Also remember in most cases that you are going to have to build out the casing around the door. The bookshelf is obviously substantially thicker than a standard door and so you'll have to make allotments for that. Lastly, despite all of my measuring and planning and 3D modeling and dry fitting and testing I still had to do some pretty aggressive rounding over of the corner on the closing side of the door to make clearance for the door to actually shut. I'm not 100% sure that the piano hinge was the right choice for this project, but we'll find out in the long run, and it may end up having to be replaced or supplemented with an additional or heavier duty hinge. That about sums it up. I hope somebody will be able to use the things that I've learned making my bookshelf door to help them make their own bookshelf door and avoid some of the pitfalls that I fell into.